what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is ben your host so right here on my device you can see if i go into the settings and then go to the about i'm actually on watchOS 10.5 but as you can tell we have a new update that has just been released and if you're just doing a software update you won't be able to find this but then if you enroll as a public beta or a developer beta tester and you go into your apple watch application right here and you go to software update and you turn on where it says betas and you select watch os 10 betas and go back give it a moment to refresh and you can see watch os 10.6 beta 1 shows up so this is the update that we're going to be talking about and right here on my apple watch series 7 you can see the exact update size it comes in at exactly 531 megabytes fortunately apple also released some other updates alongside this you can see we have ios and ipad os 17.6 this is beta 1 mac os 14.6 beta 1 tv os 17.6 beta 1 and we got vision os 1.3 that's now in beta so most of these updates that you see here on the channel like ios 18 i also covered some on watch os 11 that's on beta on my other device so so if you want to keep up to date and know what's new with your Apple Watch devices and how to get the best use of them, then definitely do hit that like and subscribe. Now, I'm just going to finish updating my device and then we're going to be able to see what are the new features and changes that this update has to offer when it comes to watchOS 10.6 beta. Boom. So just like that, you can see the update is now complete. And now if I click where it says OK, it's just going to take a few moments to be able to authenticate but just to show you the new build number that's here if we go into settings go to general and then go to about you can see the build number that we have with watchOS 10.6 beta 1 and this build number is 21 u triple five one b now something that's unique about this build number is that comparing it to the other betas that were actually released today this is the most stable build because ios is actually one that's ending with an e and ipad os is an e mac os has a d but when it comes to watch os it actually ends with a b so in terms of stability it does go a long way to tell you that when it comes to this watch os version there isn't actually a lot to worry about about and at the same time it also tells us that hey when it comes to new features and changes there isn't much to expect in fact if you look at the release notes that apple released with watchOS 10.6 beta you can see here there isn't any new general release notes for this software update unlike some other softwares that were released today but one of the things that i should highlight is that it seems to have improved slightly when it comes to this camera app that you uses the iPhone the connection time seems to have improved and at the same time the orientation seems to be working really well one thing that I still don't like about this is that when you look at the resolution on the Apple watch it doesn't look that good even though you know the iPhone is set to pretty good resolution so it's connecting faster but the resolution isn't really crisp one thing that i have to highlight about this update is that after it was complete and i went into my app store application i had a new pop-up screen that welcomed me to the app store and it took a while to open but now you can see how it opens up and one of the other improvements that this update i've noticed since updating has to do with the live activities and these are going to be seen in in the widget section that you see right here on watchOS 10.6 so for example if you have like a live activity like a stopwatch that's going on in the background every time you move your digital crown up like this you are able to see it as the front and center or the top widget of your section here before there was an issue where it might not always have shown that so that has been resolved and again you can just move your digital crown like this or if you want 
want to go to all your applications you can also do that another change that's pretty soon going to be coming to your different devices or accounts that you might have is that apple id dot apple dot com is going to be replaced by account dot apple dot com which will be like a one sign in solution for all your different accounts and you'll be able to manage all your accounts from this page apple has announced that it's no longer going to be offering apple pay later and users will be able to make payments by means of a new global installment option that's going to be coming with the newest updates in ios 18 and other various software updates alongside that so basically this is how this update is on my device watch was 10.6 beta 1 you can see there isn't a lot that has changed here it's just minor bug fixes and stability improvements when it comes to the performance or the heat generation after and during the installation and downloading process the device really didn't heat up very much it was very minor and at the same time when it comes to the battery i'll just show you so that you see it was last charged to 80 percent here and the battery health on this device the apple watch series 7 is on 84 percent so it's not one that's used very heavily and that's reminiscent of the battery usage that you can see right here but for what it's worth it's pretty much holding steady charge and I can complain and since this is the series 7 it's expected to have such a maximum health capacity now when it comes to whether you should be installing this watchOS 10.6 beta 1 if you are on watchOS 18 betas already and you have the Apple Watch Series 7 on new one, then there's no way you'll be able to do that without having to take your device to Apple for them to be able to do that. But if you're on an older device, you, there is a way you can downgrade and I've already made a video on that. But looking at the way this update is and what it has to offer it's not one that i would encourage you to rush for even though the build number shows that it's a b at the end which is more of a stable finish in terms of when the next watch always 10.6 beta 2 update should be coming out we can expect that maybe in the first week of july because well initially when apple releases these betas they are on a two-week release cycle and then as the official release gets closer they move to a one-week cycle so probably we'll get uh watch always 11 betas next week and then on the first week of july that's when we can expect watch always 10.6 beta 2 so that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video. Peace.